Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here. It is time for the gameplay trailer for NHL 23. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest throughout this trailer. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm not going to get too excited, especially as a guy that is an offline player. So I don't know what to really expect for this, but I'm not getting too excited. I apologize for the mess. As you can see, yes, I have hockey photos and baseball jerseys on the same wall. I'm going to be probably switching these jerseys to baseball or uh, hockey. I mean, uh, because I just don't really have enough baseball photos to go on that wall. And I have the whole puck display thing. So we're going to keep that uh, hockey. And I also have blinds I'm going to put up so you guys can actually hopefully see this stuff behind me. So I apologize for that glare and the mess because I've been doing some reorganizing. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead, get into this. Uh, shoot, hit that like button, show that love and support, subscribe, join the Dorsal fam. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we got going on here. Here we go. Welcome to the EA Sports NHL 23 Gameplay Deep Dive. We're excited to show you some all new features like last chance puck movement, real time strategies, X Factor updates, and more. Last Chance Puck Movement is a new series of desperation gameplay animations that add an extra layer of authenticity and excitement to the game. Now, if you receive any level of contact, from light bumps to heavy shoves, you'll still be able to react. Okay, that, that's actually a big dub because that was one thing that was really frustrating is getting hit and not being able to do anything. So that's actually, I, I do like that a lot. I just, the only thing I didn't like was with that trailer with Zegra shooting all the time. I'm hoping I'm not going to see that every single time, but, but I do like that. Previously, when this happened, there was a loss of offensive player control to reward defense, but that never really felt authentic and mostly impeded the action. We wanted to fix that to keep the flow of the game moving and create more dynamic and unique plays. We've also added a new mechanic where if you double tap, either shoot or pass while skating towards a loose puck, you'll be able to make a diving desperation attempt at the puck. But one thing is, I hope that some of those shots will be awful, you know, or those passes will be awful. They won't always be on net or even near the net. I'm hoping that some will be you know, a little iffy. To make all these new desperation animations feel authentic, we focused on replicating real world examples seen in the NHL. And what started as a small set of 25 animations expanded to the over 500 you'll find in the game. It's also important for us to ensure the feature is balanced. So we added these moves in defensive situations as well. Oh, nice. If a defensive player is in a good position, those desperation plays can be easily countered. To ensure authenticity, we try to keep you on your feet as much as possible before resorting to these more compromised and unideal shots. Strategies. To help give you more control over the action, we've updated our strategies across the board. We've added two new strategies to NHL 23. The first being the 1-3-1 one, one power play, and on the penalty kill, we've added the 1-1-2, one, one, which you might know as triangle plus one or wedge plus one, that serves as a good counter to the 1-3-1. One, one. We've also added the ability to rearrange the player positions before and after the faceoff, which will increase your ability. Oh, nice. Plus, you can now assign three different roles on the power play. Distributor, finisher, and puck that, That's th That's awesome, I, I will say. Because that was one thing I hated was like, some centers were awful at face-offs. So it's nice like if you have a winger that's better at face-offs now. And it won't screw up the, the, um, the what's it called? I, I assume this is, I don't know if this is just for all gameplay or like all lines, like even strength or just power plays and... Uh, penalty kills but that was one thing that was frustrating was like that it would screw up the uh it would screw up the uh like the line chemistry when you would move someone to like out of position yeah i will know who to distribute the puck to based on their role position situation and x-factor tendencies we also added a new feature this year called assisted strategies these will pop up in game and let you know when there's an opportunity for your strategy to shift on the fly and give you a better chance to either get back into or finish the game. X factors are our most significant in game abilities. And this year we've added a pair of new ones and updated the existing suite. The two new X factors are Trevor Zegris's skilled up, which lets you recreate his viral flip pass over the net. Ugh. And Sarah Nurse's relentless, which increases your ability to shoot and pass while off balance. We've also been working on retaining 
I feel like that Zegris one is gonna, like, I don't know, but I feel like that's gonna be, like, really overpowered and used too often, but... And balancing the existing abilities and improving the underutilized ones and how they line up with the more popular ones. AI. This year, we focused on updating our AI's goaltending and teammate awareness abilities. AI goalies will now have access to more wow. than ever, with over 300 new save animations that were previously only available to human goalies, adding more authenticity to their role. We also address the fundamentals, like improving goalie intelligence and ensuring we're rewarding proper positioning and puck tracking. Yeah, because goalies like rarely went desperation. When they did, it was always the same save. So I am kind of happy to see that. And hopefully there's going to be less cheesing. Well, actually, that would make me worse. But still, hopefully there will be less cheesiness to the goalies, like being able to che che do cheese goals and all that. And in an update to AI skaters, they'll now gesture to indicate when a player is open and which player is most dangerous when on the defensive side. They'll also lift their stick to show when they're taking a line change. These moments all lead to more authentic on-ice interactions and dynamic gameplay. The line change thing is good because I can't tell you how many times I'd pass it to someone thinking they were staying out there and then they'd hop off. So that's, that's nice. Based on your feedback on NHL 22, oh, we reworked pass assist, reducing the number of times you'll feel like you're completely off target, specifically on powered and out of vision passing. And to balance that, we're improving the ability to intercept or disrupt those passes if you're well positioned, but the offensive player will still be able to pass the puck behind the defender if they're positioned well, so the defenders won't act like a brick wall. We've also heard your feedback around poke checks. So we reduced player movement speed while in the defensive skill stick and decreased the effectiveness of poke checks when chasing or in a poor position. In addition, we increased puck carrier speed to create more separation between players and ensure that the fastest skaters in the league act like it. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in September to showcase more NHL 23 gameplay, presentation, game modes, and hockey ultimate team. Oh, okay. I don't know why I was expecting a little more, but that makes sense. So, yeah, this was just gameplay, obviously. Um, it, it, that actually wasn't that bad. Uh, that was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I, I think a lot of it is actually, to be honest, pretty big dubs. But um, yeah, that's, that, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, I don't know how I feel about that Zegers X Factor, though. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to end up being overpowered. But then again, I mean, I guess that, only, that would only affect HUT for online, right? I can't No, I guess you could use that in like EASHL or ESHL. But um, I mean, I do like the goal, the, the improved AI goalies and the movements they do. I think that's a big plus because you never really see when they go into desperation. I feel like it's always the same kind of saves like that long stretch that they'll do. But that's about it. I, I like that they have like the uh they stack the pads and, and flip the, the the rainbow or whatever. <laughs> no, I can't remember what it's called. My big things that I care about really are well yes, gameplay, but more so for like fixes. But I'm a big like little things guy. Like when it comes to presentation, some little things added in game modes, you know, like I'm a I'm I really like presentation. So I'm hoping I heard that that's a little bit better this year. But um, I, I am pretty excited to hear more about that because I feel like the presentation in this game has really sucked since, like, it, it hasn't been the same since, like, the 360 PS3 days when there were banner hangings and uh, what else? Like, I don't, I think sometimes you see awards handed out, but I feel like you really only saw that back in, like, the old days. Like, in each other's six, I feel like, randomly in the season, you'd see, like, some guy get the... If they won MVP, you'd see them get that. Um, and of course, you yeah, have the banner hangings, which you don't see anymore. It's like after you win the cup, it's like, that's it. But it's kind of like that in all sports games. There's not really anything significant after you win. It's like the next season, it's like it never happened. But I feel like that was something that NHL did really well was they had those that kind of presentation after the season. So, so hopefully, maybe they'll add things like that back up. But this actually wasn't that bad. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not too... I don't really have anything negative really to say, but um, again, I'm hoping that these aren't the only big changes, but I do think, you know, those little things with the AI will help. And I do like the strategies too. That's pretty cool. The ability to change uh, 
guys around like for the face off so that that was neat i did like that a lot i mean nothing really too drastic for gameplay but i think these are things that will help improve the game and the poke checking as well but the the main thing for me is presentation and the game modes and seeing what you know comes of that but th this was good i i think i'm sure people will still find a way to complain and i'm i'm as honest as can be with what i think so but i'm not getting too excited with the next things but we'll see what happens but that's all i got for you guys i hope you all enjoyed the trailer let me know your honest thoughts down below feel free to comment and share your thoughts but yeah thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace